Hey guys, it's Leverdo1 here, and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 gameplay. We're starting off roughly where we were last video, with uh, this moon system centered around Froby. It's not exactly the same, because I didn't save the system, actually. I saved Froby, though, so Froby is here. Pretty much the same as it was before. I tried to accurately put all the moons in the correct places, but they did not stay very stable, so it is a little different. So, what we're probably going to be doing is just making this solar system more interesting, starting just with this. First off, we take a look at this. Uh, I actually let the simulation run for a few months to make sure these are all relatively stable. This moon right here is actually getting warmed up quite nicely by tidal heating, which I thought is cool. It's almost at habitable temperature. So I was thinking we could start off by giving it a little life. Does it have an atmosphere? Sadly it does not. We just put it up to we do Mars atmospheres. How big is this first off? Big compared to Mars, is it? No, I guess they don't have that. Uh, it's pretty small, so we should be careful about how much of an atmosphere. Surface pressure, if we do like 0 0.2 atm, it should look nice. Let's take a look at the temperature then. But it seems that there is quite a lot of variety in the temperature here, here in this dark spot. It's the first time I think I've seen any level of... Uh, level of any kind of interesting temperature variation in Universe Sandbox. But if we let the simulation run a little longer, this moon should quickly be up to speed. Yeah, just look at that. I think that's pretty cool. Well, that it varies too. Alright, now it's actually up to 20 something degrees. The question is, will it slow down at all? I don't want this moon to just heat up I mean, I guess we could let it become an IO. I think that's reasonable to do. But I do want to hold out some hope that it can be a habitable moon. So we'll put a little water on here. Even if it might not stick. Oh, that's this is kind of a weird surface model to have water on. All right. I don't know if I like the looks of that. Let's see, take off habitable. Take off orbits too. We reduce this to a few hours, even minutes. Oh, uh, yep, spraying off some. Maybe this isn't a good planet to have water on. I think we're going to take off. Take this water back off. But I do like having a slight amount. Even if it's clearly not staying at all. Alright, well let's try to fix up. next moon then Let's see Tatusta not a bad name I also do like this although one last thing I want to do on this moon is this moon as we predict is going to become giant molten hellscape we should at least give it some proper coloring for that so we'll give it a bit of an IO look maybe This isn't exactly like Io, though. But it's close enough. I don't think Universe Sandbox can simulate the features that would make it look more precisely like Io. But to do stuff, this is 
pretty much the Europa things as far as I see it. Let's look at the temperature right now. The temperature's going up nicely. Let's simulate it for a while and see if it eventually becomes habitable. Yeah, as you can see, this simulation is a bit more stable than previous ones. Of course, I feel like something's going to happen to undermine that statement, but... Yeah, if you look at the orbits, besides this one, they're staying pretty reasonable. Even this one, I think, is just rotating around. So what on earth is happening here? Is this tidal heating? Hold on, I think we want to observe this a little more. What on earth is happening here? weirdest temperature map I might have ever seen. Look at this, look at this. What is happening? What on earth is happening? I just can't make heads or tails of this. Just cooling off here. It's not like it's following a moon or anything, it's just... Is it following where the majority of moons are? I'm so absolutely confused. Anyhow, deduce them. Let's give this first. Actually, let's check on our buddy here. Actually, our boy is staying pretty stable. It's surprising. Be kind of warm. Get some warm on there if there's no atmosphere. This planet, however, I do want to give an atmosphere. So, let's give a surface pressure. Let's give it like 0 0.1 atm. We got some water on it, so... Of course, it's probably too cold for water. It's warming up. And we're already 125 years into this simulation. It's pretty cool. It, it is kind of a long thing. Now, what can we do with this moon to make it interesting? We could always just give it some wacky colors. It tends to make moons interesting. Not very high IQ, but at least it looks cool. Now this is a cool looking moon, I think. The unfortunate thing about this is it's a little... It's a little difficult to get all the moons in one shot. Although this is frankly a pretty nice shot here. Might close things out for... for a nice photo. Let's take a screenshot. Very cool. I guess I only took two, but that's fine. Alright, grid, orbits, want these all back. Suppose we can do something that I've been wanting to do, which is uh, trying out. I think we've done this before. 
they want to make it binary. Make it binary. Binary. Labels. What is this? This is Takoon. Takoon, you're going to have a buddy. with them. Let's look at the surface, because this surface is going to change very quickly. heating is going to do something. Yep, it's a shame we missed it, but it is doing something. Let's watch this a little. Holy cow, it's getting hot in some of these places. For this to days, how does that affect things? Well, there, these spots are growing, that's for one. Let's actually make the motion of this. If we go to rotation, wherever that may be, let's make this obliquity a little lighter. See how that affects the surface. I wonder why these spots here, or what's so special about them. The surface temperature is certainly going up. Oh boy, what did I miss? Did they collide at some point? What happened? What happened? That's a lot of fragments. Okay. At least they're cool looking fragments. Seriously, what did I miss here? Is this from... Uh, everything's in order here. Whatever happened, it happened because of this. Man, the fragments look so good in this game. Absolutely fantastic. The question is, where is the actual... planet now? Settings, can you clear the fragments? Okay, well, I'll stop fragments in the future, but I don't know. Ah, oh, where'd they go? Take a sec to appreciate that. If you surface on this, what do you see? Ooh. It's pretty cool. How do you escape the surface though? Oh, okay. Guess that works. Yeah, I love binary systems. That's pretty neat. Should probably clear these fragments though. I'm gonna do that. By hand, because I don't know where the button is to clear fragments. Neato. 
Seriously, why did this happen? I actually want to see what happens if we launch some... Let's launch a few rocks at this binary system. Maybe 100 kilometers an hour is excessive. Right, let's delete this. Let us launch it a little slower. Just launch a random asteroid. <laughs> it's called Bonk. Nice. Bonk. Is Bonk actually gonna bonk these things? I suppose that's the question. Doesn't look like Bonk is heading to bonk anything. That is most disappointing. We're gonna let Bonk be. We're gonna try again launching things at this. This auto launch velocity. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, more is coming. Out uh, with vengeance. Ah, it's frozen for some reason. Neat. Okay, let's slow this part down. And let's turn off orbits. Is it gonna hit the planet? Yeah, probably. Yeah, definitely. And let's slow this part down a lot. That didn't really matter there. And the collision physics have just gotten better in this game. Only gotten better and better. We got this plume. Be where's that other planet? Yeah, be cool if it intersected it at all, but it doesn't look like it. These fragments collide back together. stretched apart. It's neat. I was hoping that Daekun here would take up some of them. What is Daekun's mass anyway? Uh, interesting. This is lost some mass. Now you just got this stream of particles here. Let's speed this up a little bit. I guess some Maybe even most of it will escape. It's kind of fun to watch this, though. Hopefully they don't do orbits. Why do they do orbits on fragments? Come on. That's, that's dumb. Got a few more collisions. Models all over the place. Right, 
let's speed this up a little bit more and see what happens. Oh, more collisions, okay. Dickoon's making things weird. Let us launch some more. Where are they going? Where are these... Mephitis looks like it might be heading somewhere. Namely, Dekun. Actually, that's gonna miss. By a lot. Wow, I don't have depth perception. Cool. Is it gonna escape though? I guess not. Not a lot of fragmentation now. Let's have a little more fun with this. Let's launch something bigger into this system. Should probably slow this down a bit. Boom. Wow, that's quite the temperature there. Hotter than the surface of the sun. I don't know if it's hotter than the surface of the sun, but that's pretty dang hot. I feel like we need to give Dakun a little love. Ah, dang, it's water. I'm working. Though, frankly, Morkin looks like it. It's a weird... It's in a weird spot. I thought for a second might get... Hit a Lagrange point or something weird. Let me see what hap what's happening to its water composition right now. I guess it's not going up. I was hoping some of this vapor would hit it, but I guess not. Probably not going to be very stable now. Oh, dang it, it had life. I wish I knew that before I exterminated it. That's a shame. Yeah, that life is gone. Ah. That life is not doing okay. And more explosions. How big are these fragments? That's a big fragment. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Oh well. That's weird. Now I'm curious is... Do these binary systems stay together? No, they do not. Or, oh, they do. Huh. Wait, is this planet bigger now? Nope, this one's still bigger. Guess we're in a weird perspective, that's why. So I think that's about this it for this episode. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Leverative one, signing out.